Understanding, if I get your drift, navigating the nuances of English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a very interesting phrase, if I get your drift. This expression is a gem in conversational English, often used to signify understanding or to confirm that one is following the speaker's line of thought. So, let's break it down together and see how you can use it effectively in your daily conversations. The phrase, if I get your drift, is used when someone wants to confirm their understanding of what another person is implying or suggesting without saying it directly. It's a polite and indirect way of saying, I understand the underlying meaning of what you're saying. This expression is particularly useful in conversations where subtlety or indirectness is needed. It shows that you are engaged and are following along with the nuances of the discussion. Let's dissect the phrase to understand its components better. If I, this part indicates a conditional statement, suggesting that the understanding is not absolute but is based on the listener's interpretation. Get, in this context, get, means to understand or grasp the concept. Your, this refers to the speaker or the person being addressed. Drift, drift, here means the general intention, meaning, or underlying message of what is being said. Putting it all together, if I get your drift, is a polite way of saying, if I'm understanding the hidden or implied meaning in your words correctly. To help you grasp how to use, if I get your drift, in real life situations, let's look at a few examples. One, in a meeting, so, if I get your drift, you're suggesting we postpone the project launch until we get more feedback? Two, in a casual conversation, you're not too thrilled with the new policy, if I get your drift. 3. During a debate, if I get your drift, you're implying that the benefits outweigh the drawbacks in this scenario? These examples show how the phrase can be seamlessly incorporated into various conversations to clarify or confirm understanding without directly stating it. It's important to know when it's appropriate to use this phrase. If I get your drift, is best used in casual conversations where you're trying to understand someone's opinion or viewpoint without asking them to explicitly state it. Professional settings where you need to clarify the implied meaning behind someone's suggestion or feedback. Sensitive topics where direct language might be too blunt or could cause discomfort. However, it might not be suitable in very formal contexts or in written communication where clarity is paramount, and implications can be misunderstood. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the phrase, if I get your drift. We hope this video has enhanced your understanding and you feel more confident using this expression in your conversations. Remember, Learning to navigate these subtleties in English can greatly improve your communication skills. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.